I think for her it's definitely good so she can have more interaction with her family and stuff but I'm not a big hugger anyway but it will be nice when we do get and meet with family and stuff again I'll, I will give them one hug each. <laughs> oh it's just closeness isn't it it's all about the closeness with your family and your friends and your loved ones it's really important really missed it and I can't wait for it to be rela relaxed. I think everyone will be cautious um, but I uh, just pleased that we're getting towards uh, towards the end of this pandemic really. Um, I will be cautious but I, I really am looking forward to hugging the parents and the in-laws and stuff that we haven't done for a long time and they need it as well so yeah it'll be really nice. Well especially with a newborn I can't wait for everybody wants to hug him obviously because it's so cute. I'll be a bit cautious I don't think everybody's had the vaccination yet so I think until that happens and we're really confident that everything's back to normal I think We've been this far, I'd probably just hold off, if I'm honest with you. Well, I'm really looking forward to it because, like, this whole fist pumping or, or, or elbow to elbow just kind of doesn't feel real. So to be able to put your arms around someone and give them a squeeze just would be just real. It's lovely to like, meet like this with friends because, uh, to be honest, I found the lockdown hard at first on my mental health. I, I was really lonely and um, just stuck in the house all the time. Um, but um, but so I'll, I'll be pleased. If I think it perhaps depends on who you're hugging. If you are hugging a grandparent, hugging a, a grandchild, and the grandparents are fully vaccinated, that's probably quite a low risk activity most of the time. But it would worry me if we were advocating we can hug all of our friends every time we meet them again, because I think that's going to perpetuate an awful lot of additional close contact that could still spread the virus. Perhaps, you know, don't hug everybody you know. Hug, if you are going to hug somebody, restrict it to very small numbers of close family who perhaps you, you really value a hug from. Um, I think don't hug too frequently. Um, keep it short. Try and avoid being face to face. So perhaps um, put your, turn your face away slightly. And even wearing a mask could help. Um, I mean, the reality is, is when you hug somebody, you are very close to them. And we know the virus is in people's breath, so you are very close to their breath at that moment.